Hey guys, how you doing? This is Travis. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, when it comes to walking the dog, for a lot of people, this is the only method that they use. Uh, One-handed, either retractable or just basic style leash. But stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to show you a new way that you can walk your dog, something that you can use to free up your hands but still maintain complete control over your pooch. All right, guys, stay tuned. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so recently I had a representative of Bleds reach out to me, um, and they were just curious, wondering if I might be willing to test out their hands-free dog leash. Now, I, you know, having my hands occupied while I'm walking the dog, to me, it's not, it's not a big deal, but it is, it would be nice to have the hands free so I can do things like, you know, actually move my arms a little bit, get a little more exercise, or say I need to talk on the phone, open the door, or even if you have children and you, or you have a stroller, uh, it might be very, very handy for you to get your hands free. So uh, let's just go ahead and get the vital statistics or specifications of this hands-free dog's leash out to you right now. First of all, it is available on Amazon.com as of July of 2018 for $17.99. Now, as you know, the price on that can vary. It can change. Um, the waist belt that you put around your waist, it, it'll um, adjust from 27 to 49 inches. And the bungee itself, when it's extended, it'll go from 55 to 75 inches. Now, it's 55 inches unextended, 75 inches when it stretches out. So it uses kind of a, a two-stage bungee, bungee system to let your dog run around, but you can still keep control of the dog. So let's just go ahead and open up the packaging and get it out real quick and see what we're dealing with. The unit itself in the packaging weighs 12 ounces. And what's cool about it is you've got a lot of little features. There are, there are other hands-free um, you know, dog leashes that are out there on the internet that you can get. But there's a couple things about this that I really like. First of all, the little waist pouch is very handy. Um, I will walk my dog very early in the morning and there are times where I'd like to have things like say, uh, you know, pepper spray, dog poo bags, extra keys, ID, and so on. And I might just say have some jogging shorts on or just whatever, you know, some shorts, but I might not have pants or extra pockets available. So the hip pack is something that'll come in very handy for you. Um, if you've got some different items that you need to take around with you, plus you could put more on the waist if you wanted to, so say you had something you needed to clip on there and so on. Okay, so the waist pack is definitely a bonus. The design on it, the nylon, very, very sturdy. By the way, this gets pretty good reviews on Amazon, and so there really were no complaints about it from what I've seen so far. Very heavy duty hinges. Um, it will, uh, you're able to safely use it with a dog that weighs up to 150 pounds. And uh, my little dog, my little four year old Corgi, only weighs about 34, 35 pounds. So I'm not too worried about him breaking this. If he does, obviously there's going to be some kind of quality control issues, but I don't see that happening. So you've got the main harness itself, and you've got your bungee section right here. So just as it is, you know, you can simply have it extend out to uh, 55 inches. And then as the dog stretches or runs, okay, the uh, little bungee system is going to extend out. All right. So just checking it over, um, the sewing and the stitching appear to be very sturdy. I like that. Um, you've got double seams, double stitches going on right here. Definitely a good thing, especially for these that have a larger dog. The hardware seems to be uh, pretty sturdy. It is all metal. I do like that. Got your little spring clips, okay, on both sides. Um, as for actually getting a hold of the dog, okay, so if you put this on the dog's collar, you have a handle here that you'll be able to grab and you can pull the dog back if you need to. Say it, you need to force the dog back or you just simply need to guide it around or pull it closer to you. You've got the option right here. And then on the back side of the bungee, okay, obviously you could grab the bungee and reel the dog in if you needed to. And then right here, you've also got the handle closer to you so you can simply gain a little more control of the dog if you want to. Okay, so that's definitely something that's a bonus. Now, the actual waistband unit itself, okay, it's just a very sturdy nylon, okay, you've got your ring right here that the leash is going to attach to. Again, pretty much uh, double stitched on everything, nice heavy duty nylon, I like that, doesn't feel like it's very cheap, it's a thick material. Uh, one of the problems I have with my retractable leashes is I'm already on my third in a year, my dog just breaks them, they just don't last. Uh, I've never actually had the leash itself break, but I've had the internal mechanisms, the springs wear out, and or they just simply snap. And it's not a very good situation when you're <laughs> halfway from home. Uh, you've got a little bit of adjustability right here where you could clip on some keys if you want to. You've got a little bit of loop or a ring, okay? Do you like that? Okay, and you've got your adjustability right here and then just your simple system. You can put this uh, around your waist. You can put this over your shirt or under your shirt, whatever you need to do uh, to make it fit and work for you. So again, the adjustability is nice. My waist is, uh, is about a 40, 42 on a bad day, 40, 38 on a good day. Uh, so we're going to see how well this actually fits me. So, all right, uh, let's go ahead and actually just attach it to myself and the dog, put it on and just see what the thing looks like, see what it feels like. 
And then we're just gonna go outside and just uh, just test it out a little bit. They do recommend that you actually that you practice with the dog a little bit before you go on your, your full length walks, just in case there be anything that needs to be adjusted or changed. It can save you some time before you actually get going. So maybe walk around the yard a little bit uh, before you guys decide to go to your first outing. So let's go ahead and get this on and we will just see what it looks like, see what it feels like, see how the dog reacts and we will go from there. All right, guys, so uh, please forgive the uh, early 40s dad bod. It's the best I could do on such uh, short notice, but no trouble um, clipping the belt, no trouble adjusting it. Got the harness ready to go. I got Charlie right here. We're gonna go test it out outside. We're just gonna go walk around in the backyard a little bit. Uh, clips right on his, um, his collar with no issues whatsoever. Got the little fanny pack right here. We got the driver's license. We got the house keys, the concealed carry permit. You know why? And uh, otherwise, you know, I, I'm already starting to like having the hands free. This little guy likes to run around all over the place. Now, he does obey me pretty well, um, except, <laughs> oh, I see you're interested, okay, yeah. Um, so anyway, he loves to chase rabbits, and so that's something that we're gonna do is go out there and see if we can find some rabbits. Um, you know, he'll come back to me, but you know, if he, if he sees one, he'll just take off and go. So I have to keep him on a leash if I don't have him within a fenced in area. We're still training him right now, and it's gonna take a little bit of time for us to pretty much get him where we want him. But let's just go outside and have a little bit of fun. All right, so just initial impressions. Uh, this leash is considerably heavier than what I was using before. I don't think it's gonna be a problem, especially once he gets going, but I am really liking having the hands free. Might enhance my videos a little bit for the YouTube channel, so we're gonna go outside here and just see what happens. Whoa! <laughs> All righty. Hey, come on, let's go this way. Let's go this way, come on. All right. So he's gonna go. Okay, you know, you definitely feel him tugging, but uh, yeah, this is this is kind of nice, you know, especially if you want to take him out to like a dog walk or a dog run. All right, what do you think? Pretty good. All right, let's see. What the, let's show people what this looks like when walking around, buddy. All right, so one thing I really like about it is is wherever I walk, he goes. I don't even really have to try. It just kind of tugs him along, and he comes with me. So we're just gonna show you just some basic walking around the yard, what it looks like, you know, how how it's functioning, and so on. Come on, boy, let's go. Uh, the, the handle on the back here is very nice also. This is good. I just got to give it a little tug and I can make him go where I want to. Um, but again, the fact is I've got the hands free if I want them. You know, if you're somebody who uses hand weights and so on, or like I said before, if you got a baby crib or you got to carry something, it definitely makes it much more convenient. And the dog is close enough I can bring him back in if I need to. All right, let's go back one more time. Come on, let's go. A little bit of real time walking with the Corgi. I do want to apologize for wind noise, guys, as is typical Nebraska fashion. We've got a light breeze going on in the summertime, so it might get a little bit noisy with uh, what we're about to do here. Again, he pretty much knows we're out to get out of here. It'd be interesting just to try it on the track and see how it works for him, but it might take a little bit of training on his part, too. So if you're a uh, fan of the channel, you know that I do a lot of shooting sports and outdoors. I really haven't done any hunting videos because it's middle of the summer right now, but I've always wanted a hunting, I've always wanted a hunting dog. And uh, I don't know if the Corgi is really known for hunting, but something that Charlie and I have been working on since I got him is uh, tracking rabbits. This field over here next to our house is usually loaded with them. I don't know if we're going to find any at this point in the summer, but uh, he likes to pick up the scent and chase after him. So we're just going to do a little demonstration. And I've got the leash attached. I've got my hands free I'm operating the camera with the other hand. Hey, Charlie, let's go. Let's go. He gets excited. doesn't matter what field I take him to. So it's tugging me along, but it's not uncomfortable. Um, I do still feel like I'm in control of him the whole time. All right, where's the rabbits? Where they at? Where they at? You smell them? Let's go. Where they at? Pick them up. Let's go. So if we if we see one, we're just going to take off running. So the camera could get a little bit crazy here. But I do like this part of the activity. It does make it a lot more fun. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Sniff them out. Where they at? Come on, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Come on. Let's go. Again, I'm going completely hands-free here. So this is what I used to do before with the leash, but now I just kind of let him run. Where they at? Where they at? You smell them? Where they at? Where's the bunnies? Let's go find them. Come on, boy. Might have to shorten this up a little bit, guys, until we actually find one. <laughs> Anything? Where they at? Come on, let's go back this way. Let's go this way. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, besides, who doesn't like to watch a corgi run, right? So I think this means we might have to do some longer walks now. Ooh, he's really tugging. Again, it's not uncomfortable at all. 
All right, so unfortunately we didn't find any rabbits, but just going on a regular route, uh, again, very convenient to have the hands free. Um, you know, and again, I can sometimes pull back on this if I need to, just to kind of keep him, if I want to pull him away from something or just kind of prevent how far he goes. Uh, again, it's, it's going to be a little bit, you know, awkward initially for those of you that have been using, you know, the same type of uh, leash for quite a while, but it is something you can get used to, especially if you have a larger, more active dog, maybe a dog that takes bigger strides and steps. It'll put a little more tension on the uh, leash the whole time that you're carrying him, or I'm sorry, walking with him. But uh, overall, yeah, it's not bad. Hey, let's, uh, Charlie, let's go home. Come on, let's go home. So we're going to go and take him back and just have a few final words about it. I'm going to use this for a couple months and then uh, give you guys an update on it to let you know if there's any problems with it at all. Come on, boy. He likes to smell everything. All right, guys, so that's it. That is our little test of the Bled's uh, hands-free leash system. Hope you guys enjoyed just kind of showing you what it looks like and, and how, how well it's built and just kind of what it's like to actually use a hands-free leash. It's a, a totally different experience for me, but I really do like it. Uh, Charlie here's all tuckered out, so he's probably going to take a nap, so we're going to give him a chance to rest up. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Please like or subscribe. Um, Bleds, I want to thank you for sending me the test copy, uh, test sample of that uh, hands-free leash. And again, I just got that from Amazon like anybody else. And uh, yeah, I think you'll be happy with it. Um, only concern that I have is if you have a real short dog, say a Pomeranian or a Chihuahua, that strap is probably going to be a little bit too big for it. It's probably going to trip over it. Uh, say you go with like a Beagle on up, Corgi, uh, you know, anything along those lines on up, you're going to be okay in terms of the dog being able to just simply uh, run along with it and tug along with it. It was a lot of fun. Like I said, it's going to definitely change how we do our, our walks in the morning. I do like the fact that it's going to free up the hands. I mentioned that several times. It's the whole point behind it. Um, it is going to be an adjustment for me, but especially those of you that have been walking a dog with a traditional leash for so long, it's like muscle memory. You're so used to just doing it one way. That's all you really know. So anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like or subscribe. Uh, if you like what you see, you can uh, subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, GunChannels.com, GunStreamer, uh, YouTube. Uh, let's see, where else are we at? That's pretty much about it. GunChannels.tube, GunTube.org. We're also over there too. Twitter and Instagram, Facebook, and so on. So anyway, guys, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. I'll give you guys an update a couple months down the road and let you know how well it's holding up. And uh, just kind of give you some more uh, long-term impressions. So this is just my initial kind of review of, of what you get right out of the box. So anyway, guys, that's it. I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye. So you think you're ready for your own channel? I think you're ready. All right, let's do it.